Are you tired of feeling lost in the stock market and want to finally take control of your investments and see real returns? In this video I'm going to show you how you can trade stocks like Tesla and AMD with much, much more ease. So the first things first, we'll head over to the charts and then we'll get into it. So now we're into the charts, we can see that I've got a very usual setup compared to the previous videos. We have the two Almas that we had in the previous video, one set at 13 and one set at 50. And then on the bottom of our chart we have an uh, indicator called Bitpan to Trend Scout, which is available in the link in the description below. And the settings for that are entirely default, there has been no alterations at all. Very, very easy way to trade. All you have to do is wait for your cross of the two Alma ribbons and then take your trade alongside when uh, Trend Scout is in your favor. So in this case, we can take a short position from here, uh, right there, and you can set your stop loss just at the previous high, which in this case would have been there. And then stop loss, uh, take profit, you can either set the conventional as per other method videos that we've done where it's one and a half times your risk, or you could trail stop and use the purple ribbon as your guide for that. Uh, the other way of exiting could also be for when Trend Scout begins to go green in the case of this short or red in the case of the buys. And that will bring you all the way down to somewhere around here. It's just where it started crossing through and over. And then again, you would immediately have had another two shorts in this position because you could have had one off of this. Your previous high would now be here. And if we're taking a stop on the breakthrough, it's going to be something like that, which would have been one and a half to one. Although it probably will then grab another trade just here on the next cross through. And now the previous high is down here. And you can see that this one would still be running if we were trailing out currently at three to one. So that would have marked you a one and a half to one, 1 1.5 to one and three to one trade. And then previously you would have had this which arguably would have been a small loss or break-even trade, but then previous to that would have been this one here, which would again, we will mark it up. So our entry point would have been this candle here, and where it broke through is somewhere up there. Our previous low is here. So in this case, it would have also been a two and a half to one win, which is more than enough. So with that, you can see that Hey, the last four trades on well, the last five trades on Tesla, we would have had one small loss, but then four consecutive wins. Otherwise, uh, you would have had other trades in and through here. And I'm not going to keep going diving through the history. We'll run through a couple of other instruments just so you can see that yes, this does work, and that it is very simple to follow. So you can see that we would have had a fresh entry on Amazon stock about one one day ago. So entry would be there. In this case, our stop loss would be rather large. I would probably run it off of the purple ribbon rather than the previous low, just simply because it has been quite a significant push already. And again, you can set your stop loss, your take profit either as one and a half to one, or you can just let it trail stop out. So this would be our current position. We would have also have had other positions recently, such as the short that came from here on the cross through. Our stop loss can be here and our peak would have been about two and a half to one although we probably would have been stopped out around one to one risk reward so nice and in profit but we could have gone for more and then prior to that trade these don't cross over the ribbon and back through so I wouldn't have been interested in taking uh, however this one here you could consider because the price did break through however the actual uh, Alma did not break through the other one and then the only other position is here which we would never have been able to take a trade because the trend scout was already green still and then our previous one to that would have been over here at this cross so if we mark up the buy so our long position would have been off of this candle right here stop loss would have been relatively close there's your previous low just there and we could have run it all the way up to the purple ribbon nothing else touched it and that would have given us almost three to one on that trade as well. So you can see that this is a very, very simple method. All it requires is three indicators on your chart and a small amount of time. These trades are lasting. Uh, that one would have lasted from the 20, 
um, 15th of July all the way till the 22nd of August. Obviously, you do have your weekend gaps, so that's where you're getting a few odd days in there. But most of these trades are taking just a matter of a few days, and you're only going to be looking at them once per day after market handover, making it a nice easy method to follow, especially if you have uh, work commitments or life that gets in the way. You only have to spend 15 minutes a day running through all of your stock positions, checking that they're all viable. And other than that, it's a nice simple method to follow, and I will see you all in the next video.